Let's take a few minutes to talk about Hurricane Lee right now. It's a major hurricane for us in the southeast. We are not going to be expecting any sort of conditions for this, except the dangerous surf conditions up the east coast and the high risk for rip currents. But if you're in eastern parts of New England and in the Canadian Maritimes, Nova Scotia, you could be impacted by this this upcoming weekend. Here's the latest 5 p.m. cone. Again, I'm around the Boston area growing up, so I have a lot of friends and family in the area. I want to make this video to explain the possibilities and potential in this cone. Let's zoom on in right now to eastern parts of New England, eastern half of Maine, Nova Scotia as well. Could be impacted by at least a weak hurricane or strong tropical storm before it develops toward a more tropical-like low. Again, that's projected for Sunday, but Saturday, at least down by the Cape and the Islands, you have a chance to be impacted by this. Now, here's the cone. The cone essentially means there's an equal probability you could be impacted by the center of the storm. Anywhere in this cone is fair game, as I like to say. We talked about that with Idalia down in the southeast. Very similar story for Lee as well. Places that could be outside of the cone could still receive at least tropical storm potential wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. With that as well, multiple inches of rain. Let's break down the timing of wind gusts early Saturday morning. A big concern here for the Cape and the Islands could be exceeding 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts up the main coast into parts of Nova Scotia as well. You could be talking about wind gusts over 50 to 60 miles per hour toward the afternoon hours. 50 miles per hour by Saturday evening for Portland, still 50 to 60 for Barnstable down by Nantucket, Cape and the Islands could still be affected by this. As a tropical low continues to move up into Canada, that's when we see the impact start to wind down a little bit. Again, this is closer north now towards Sunday afternoon. We're still seeing some gusty conditions out there. And for Nova Scotia, you're still talking about wind gusts over at least 40 to 50 miles per hour. Should all clear out relatively closer to Monday. But when all is said and done, multiple inches of rainfall right now. This is the latest European run. Again, this is from Tuesday evening. This could be shifting to the west or the east again. Like I said, anywhere in that cone is fair game. But the current consensus right now is multiple inches of rain. West of New Hampshire, you're probably out of the worst of rain impacts. You still could be seeing gusts of at least 30 to 40 miles per hour. Now, east of, let's say, Laconia down 93 toward 95, places like Portland down toward the Cape and the Islands, you still could be seeing tropical storm-like gusts. I want to make sure you're getting all your updates from the National Hurricane Center. Either you're subscribing to local meteorologists to make sure you're staying informed and you have a plan. More updates to come.